they are. Um, th this this um, um, suite of traits that we're hearing about, which are in the pipeline and are, and are really uh, at some companies quite advanced in the pipeline, um, uh, are quite different and much more complex in 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 the way they work uh, than the traits that we've seen so far. We're really only dealing with the tip of the iceberg in genetic technology at the moment. I mean, largely we've got herbicide resistance and uh, insect resistance from uh, BT, uh, and those are fairly, science was very complex and innovative to create those technologies, but in fact the actual mechanism of the technology is quite simple. I mean, the, the herbicide resistance is basically an on-off switch. It's a plant which, which uh, isn't killed by by a chemical which is put on all other green things and it kills those and doesn't kill the plant, it either, it's either on or off. And in the case of BT, it's a compound which the plant produces which is ingested by a specific insect and it kills it um, from, from uh, by, within, within the insect. It kills it from inside the insect. Um, those are fairly, to my mind, fairly um, simple systems. Um, now we go to nitrogen fixation and um, drought or heat uh, tolerance and those types of things and down the road uh, probably quality issues, nutritional qualities, those sorts of things. Um, now we're dealing with things which are not that simple. Um, they're, they're, they're largely qualitative in nature and most importantly they're affected by the environment. The environment being the fertility of the ground they're grown in, the way they're farmed, um, the climate they're grown in uh, from, from season to season, and, um, and different, different um, environments um, create different reactions to those technologies. So in order for those, those uh, products to be successful in the marketplace, they've got to perform in a wide range of environments because that's what farming is. I mean, you're not growing uh, the crop in a bubble, uh, uh, except in you know greenhouse production of vegetables. But but in most agriculture, large-scale agriculture, you're growing things out in an open environment, and and that's what takes the time. And we shouldn't forget that um, it took probably almost 10 years from the discovery of glyphosate resistance in the lab before it was ever put on the marketplace. So. Um, we tend to hear about things. Uh, the companies that are involved in this uh, research um, are very open um, generally about what's going on in, in the labs. And so we've got excited about it and yet we don't see it coming. And, uh, but I think, uh, I think the next five years we'll see some very interesting traits like the ones you've mentioned uh, coming under the marketplace. This is kind of an addition.